Recently, NASA's Perseverance rover has just captured a stunning video of a dust devil on Mars. A dust devil is a swirling column of air and dust that forms when warm air rises and mixes with cooler air. They are common on Earth, but they are even more spectacular on Mars, where the thin atmosphere and the dry surface create ideal conditions for them to form. In this video, we will show you the amazing footage of the dust devil, explain how it was recorded and measured by the rover, and discuss what it can tell us about the Martian weather and climate. We will also compare it to other dust devils observed by previous missions on Mars, and how they help us understand the dynamics of Martian dust storms. So stay tuned to find out. The video of the dust devil was captured by Perseverance's navigation camera, NavCam, on September 15, 2023. The NavCam is located on the rover's mast, and it is used to take images of the surrounding terrain for navigation purposes. It has a wide-angle lens that can capture a 45-degree field of view horizontally and vertically. The NavCam can also record videos at 10 frames per second, but they are usually low-resolution and monochrome. On that day, the rover was driving along the floor of Jezero Crater, a 45-kilometer wide basin that once hosted a lake and a river delta billions of years ago. The rover's main goal is to explore this ancient environment and look for signs of past microbial life. As the rover was moving, it spotted a dust devil about 4 kilometers away from its position. The dust devil was moving at about 19 kilometers per hour, which is faster than the rover's top speed of 0.16 kilometers per hour. The rover decided to stop and record the dust devil with its nav cam for about two seconds. It recorded 21 frames of the dust devil, which were then transmitted back to Earth. The video shows the dust devil as a dark streak against the bright sky. The dust devil appears to be very tall and thin, with a tapered shape that widens at the base. The dust devil casts a long shadow on the ground, which indicates that it was close to noon when the video was taken. The video also shows some clouds in the sky, which are rare on Mars, but not unheard of. The video was enhanced and sped up 20 times by NASA scientists to make it more visible and dramatic. As you can see, the dust devil looks like a mini tornado that sweeps across the Martian landscape. It is mesmerizing to watch, but also very informative for scientists who study Mars. One of the questions that scientists have about the dust devil is how tall it was. To answer this question, they used a clever trick. They measured the length of its shadow. By knowing the distance between the rover and the dust devil and the angle of the sun at that time, they could calculate the height of the dust devil using simple geometry. They found that the dust devil was about two kilometers high, which is impressive for such a thin column of air. To put this into perspective, let's compare it to dust devils on Earth. On Earth, they are usually less than 30 meters high, but they can occasionally reach up to one kilometer high in extreme cases. The tallest dust devil ever recorded on Earth was in Arizona in 2011, when it reached an estimated height of 1.6 kilometers. That's still shorter than the average dust devil on Mars. But why are dust devils so much taller on Mars than on Earth? There are several factors that contribute to this difference. One factor is the low atmospheric pressure on Mars, which is only about 0.6% of Earth's atmospheric pressure at sea level. This means that there is less air resistance on Mars, so dust devils can rise higher and last longer. Another factor is the large temperature difference between the surface and the air on Mars, which can be as high as 180 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. This creates a strong thermal instability, which causes warm air to rise rapidly and form dust devils. A third factor is the lack of vegetation and moisture on Mars, which makes the surface very dusty and easy to lift by the wind. However, measuring dust devils on Mars is not an easy task. There are many challenges and uncertainties involved in the process. For example, the distance between the rover and the dust devil can be hard to estimate accurately especially if the dust devil is far away or moving fast. The angle of the sun can also vary depending on the season and the time of day, which affects the length of the shadow. The resolution and quality of the video can also limit the accuracy of the measurement, 
as some details may be lost or distorted. Therefore, scientists have to use multiple methods and sources of data to verify their results and reduce their errors. Dust devils are not just a curiosity on Mars. They are also an important factor that affects the Martian atmosphere and weather. They can lift millions of tons of dust into the air every year, which can have significant impacts on the planet's climate and habitability. One of the impacts of dust devils is that they can change the albedo of the surface, which is a measure of how much sunlight is reflected or absorbed by the surface. Dust devils can darken or brighten the surface, depending on the color and size of the dust particles. Darker surfaces absorb more heat, while brighter surfaces reflect more heat. This can affect the local and global temperature and wind patterns on Mars. Another impact of dust devils is that they can alter the chemical composition of the atmosphere, which is mostly carbon dioxide. They can inject other gases into the air, such as water vapor, methane, and oxygen. These gases can have different effects on the atmosphere, such as increasing or decreasing its greenhouse effect, creating or destroying ozone, and influencing its oxidation state. Some of these gases may also be indicators of biological activity on Mars, such as methane, which is produced by some microbes on Earth. A third impact of dust devils is that they can trigger or contribute to larger dust storms on Mars, which are among the most extreme weather events in the solar system. On Mars, dust storms can cover the entire planet in a thick layer of dust, blocking out sunlight and reducing visibility for months. They can affect the operation and communication of rovers and orbiters on Mars, as well as their scientific objectives. They can also change the temperature and pressure of the atmosphere, creating challenges for future human missions to Mars. These dust devils are not a new phenomenon on Mars. They have been observed by many previous missions, such as Viking, Pathfinder, Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and Insight. These missions have provided valuable data and insights into the formation, frequency, distribution, size, shape, speed, direction, and behavior of dust devils on Mars. They have also shown how dust devils vary depending on the location, season, time of day, and weather conditions on Mars. By comparing and combining these observations with those from Perseverance, scientists can improve their understanding of the dynamics of Martian dust storms and their effects on the planet's environment. In this video, we have shown you how Perseverance captured a video of a dust devil on Mars, how it was recorded and measured by the rover, and what it can tell us about the Martian weather and climate. We have also compared it to other dust devils observed by previous missions on Mars and how they help us understand the dynamics of Martian dust storms. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Mars. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.